Hey guys, good to have you all back. For those of you who are new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Guys, it's the first Monday of the year. I want to ease back into crafting. I have a sort of a simple project in mind that um, also the beginners can join in. So uh, let me tell you what the plan is. Don't know about you guys, but I have some New Year's resolutions. Um, one of them is recycle i just want to recycle more and especially the products that we can make something with like for instance these sort of paper gift bag thingies um i i i already sort of collect them but now i need to go use them so what i want to do is reuse paper bags uh or other sort of packaging paper because we're gonna i'm gonna cut the backs off well i'm not gonna cut these up i i think i want to make a journal out of this but i cannot make a journal that's this big but let's say use a paper bag cut out pieces of paper or amazon packaging paper you can also use for this or other craft paper just you know paper that you would normally throw out so what I want to make is these, and this is just a very basic um, prototype. I believe these are called policy envelopes. I don't know. It's not a thing in the Netherlands, but I, I see them on YouTube all the time. And they're very nice for in your journal or for happy mail or, you know, it's just a lovely project um, to make. So I thought, let's go recycle something. I think I want to make two of them. Um, let me tell you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a piece of this. Um, well, this was actually a bag from, I think, my favorite craft supply store. Yes, my favorite craft supply store in the Netherlands. Uh, but you can also use packaging paper, whatever. Uh, just as long as it's a little bit sturdier paper, yeah? Um, then the, the usual. I'm going to use scissors, uh, ruler, glue, a knife, bone folder, pencil, corner rounder, of course. <clears throat> that's for um you know making the envelope itself and then for the closure i am using a uh, crocodile baker's twine a circle punch to make the circles and eyelets that's what i am using and for decorating um let me show you what i want to use today um you may have seen in my favorites uh video that i have gifted myself this one so i want to use this but in order to use it these are very large sort of label stamps i need my stamping tool because i don't have an, an acrylic block that's this big so i'm going to use my stamping tool and then i have this one this one was on my list for a long long time so uh yes christmas uh, christmas gift thank you very very much it's entomology from tim holtz with all sorts of bugs and some scripty bits um, and then I was thinking what does this remind me of it reminds me of Tracy Fox um, kit I've wrote I've written it down Tracy Fox is love junk journals um, love junk journals yes on Etsy it's one word it's very hard to find um, if you cannot find it please visit Tracy Fox her YouTube channel she'll probably have a link and it's an old kit I, I have the kit for years and years now but i still love it the kid's name is the Exhi exhibit specimen ephemera it's about bugs <laughs> field notes botanical whatever it will be fantastic so i have some uh, scraps left and i have lots of other labels uh, from tracy fox that are sort of field notey whatever yeah you can also use if you don't have this one but um let me quickly if you have this one use this because it is this one and Tracy Fox all in all in one. So you can also use that. But let's start making the envelope thingies first. This is a rather large piece that I have. Uh, this is 15 inches by 11 or 12. It doesn't really matter, guys, how big your piece of paper is. As long as it is a rectangle. I'm not going to make one of this size. I'm just going to sort of... I want to make one bigger than the other. So I'm just folding it in and then cutting this piece off. Unfortunately, it is too large for my paper trimmer, so I have to do this by hand. Now, it will not be straight, but that's okay. We are going to make it straight um, when we fold it and such. Well, 
Try to have it a little bit straight, guys. So you need two rectangles. One of those and one of those. See, this one is smaller. It doesn't really matter that it's a little bit wrinkled. It'll be fine. Well, maybe you have seen me do this before. Maybe you haven't. Um, but, you know, I'm going to do it again anyway. <laughs> I am going to have this as the inside, right? Where the writing is on here, I'm going to have that as the inside. So I'm just taking my... Uh, let's start with the bigger one. That's maybe a little easier. I'm just going to fold this in. I'm not going to fold it all the way over. I'm going to fold it sort of towards the middle. It doesn't really need to be in the middle, but sort of towards the middle. Try to have it straight. That'd be nice, lovely. And then I'm folding this in. I am not going to fold it all the way over there. I'm going to overlap it like um, three quarters of an inch, half an inch. Or maybe a little bit more. Just depending on how wide you want this sort of pocket thingy to be. Well, this is a very large piece. So it's going to be very wide. <laughs> it's going to be a big one. So this one is definitely going to be for um, Happy Meal and such. Now, I fold it in. You can see it's not straight here. It's not straight here. That's okay. I'm, we're going to make it straight. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, you overlapped it because we need to glue this down here later. Later. Now, first I'm going to fix the bottom. I'm just going to fold up a tiny bit. If the paper is a little bit thicker, heavier, it doesn't work folding up like, like this. Then just open it up and fold it up. You can do all of this with a scoreboard, guys. If you want to be like very, very precise, use your scoreboard to measure it out and then fold it. Uh, but it's not necessary at all. So yeah, so this is the is going to be the bottom. Now I want to have a flap on the top. So I'm going to fold it in. The one that I made had a very big flap. You don't need a big, big flap, but uh, it needs to have room for the eyelet, for the circle bit thingy. There you go. So I'm going to have this like so. See? It's going to be much wider and less tall. <laughs> shorter. Also known as shorter, love. Yeah. Perfect. Um, I'm going to do some snippies first. I'm really going to burnish this. Because I need to know where the folds are. That is going to be important. So I'm folding it open again. Like so. Now, on the bottom... I want to miter this, which means I'm going to make two angles. Can you see where the, all the lines meet at the crossroads? I'm going to snip a little bit off towards the crossroads. And also on the other side towards the crossroads. Yep. And then I'm going to cut this piece off. This is the bottom, right? Not the top, the bottom. I'm going to cut this off, but add a little bit of an angle. On the left side of this fold. A tiny bit. Not a lot. Doing the same on the other side. But then on the right side of the fold. Why am I cutting this at an angle? If we fold it in now. Uh, and fold this open. It will not bulk up here on the, on the bottom. That's the only reason why I'm doing like the this and also why am i mitering this because when you fold it over i do not want to have it stick out and also it's pretty it just looks fantastic now for the top um depends on what you want to do do you want to have rounded corners like me or do you want to have like a tag shape or have it straight or what have you anything you want what i'm gonna do first i am going to um, snip this piece off, mitre it as well. Just slant it. Can you see what I'm doing? Just putting it at an angle and cutting it towards the crossroads again. Also on the other side. Now there. Now, depending on what sort of a closure you want, if you want to have it at an angle, snip it at an angle. If you want to have rounded corners, you have to cut this really, really straight. For me, that's the hardest thing to do. Really, really straight. Um, if you're making these, save this, because we're going to use it. Again, really, really straight, lovely, as straight as it can be. There you go. Perfect. 
I'm taking my corner rounder. You can also do some snippies. Whatever you wish, lovies. Whatever you wish. Do it this way around. There's one. And here's the other one. There you go. Now, let me show you how we are going to glue this down. We are not going to glue it down just yet because um, I want to decorate it before the gluing. Really? Yes. Uh, because I want to do some stamping and it will look much nicer uh, when it's not glued down yet. So we're going to fold this in, fold this over, have some glue here and then glue it here like so. See? And then we're going to have this as a flap and there will be a circle. I will do the closure a little bit later. Now, what I'm going to do just to, you know, have a sort of a, a what's it called? <laughs> Mass making session. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Mass making session. I want to make the other one from this paper as well and then do everything in the same order. I was thinking, shall we have a tall skinny one? Yeah, I think that'll be nice. And then maybe even, well, I don't know if we can make three, but <laughs> you never know. I might make three. So I want to have a tall, skinny one. Not this tall, of course, but, you know, taller. I'm not even measuring, guys. Just, you know, eyeball it. Tall, skinny one. And maybe, maybe a tiny, tiny one. Who knows? Okay, folding it in towards the middle. Like so, and then folding this over, overlapping it a little bit. Oh, it's going to be cute. I think this is going to be a cute one. Is it at all straight? That'd be nice. Well, straight-ish, straight-ish. Also, guys, it doesn't need to be straight. No. We're doing this for fun, right? Remember? Now, I'm doing the bottom part first. Yep. And then I'm going to do the top part. It's going to be the flap with the closure. You don't need to have a flap and a closure. No. Um, let's quickly make this one and show you. Folding it towards the middle. Having this piece overlap. Oh, that's the inside. That's okay. We're going <laughs> to overlap it like here. I did, I did this one inside out. This one as well. Margaret, why? Why? I did not pay attention. That's okay. I'm going to fold it the other way around. And I think I want to have this open at the top. Like a cute little bag. Maybe I'm going to use my pinking shears. Maybe. Don't know. Let's just see. But I was doing this one. Yes. Folding it the wrong way. Lovey, lovey. Why? Um, this is the middle snippy here. Angle it there. Yep. Snippy here. Angle it there. That's not far enough, love. No. There you go. Same on the top. At an angle. In the beginning, if you just if this is your first try, don't be sort of upset when you cut it like this instead of like so. You'll notice and you'll buy you'll be like, what did I do wrong? From the other side. It happened to me a couple of times, so there you go, and then the last one. I will, however, have rounded corners on this one as well. Just want them to match a little bit. I must say, my corner rounded punch does not really like this paper. Or doesn't like it at all. Also, I, need to, I need to sharpen it. I guess I need to sharpen it. Because I use it a lot. Oh, this works. There you go. So, we have one, two baggies. Yes. Before we do the assembling, let's decorate. 
Now here's the reason why I want to stamp on it in advance. <coughs> because it's going to be folded in. I want to use these big sort of label stamps. <coughs> and I so sort of want them to fall over. <laughs> I don't know. That was just my idea. I want to have this one over here. So when you fold it in, half of, half of it is going to be on the back. That's just, you know, that's the plan. Um, but let's do this one here. And I have a small one on the top. Now, when I fold this in, I want this to overlap this one. Yeah. So what I can do is put sort of another stamp piece here. Because it's going to overlap there. Yeah. Does it make any sense? I hope so. I hope so. Now, I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do some of them with my acrylic block. Where's the... I have a bigger one. Yeah, this one. Uh, against my better judgment, I'm going to use uh, Versafine. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not really a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. There was something on it. There's still something on it. Also, this is the first time I am stamping. So let's see how that works. I'm going to have this on the flap. One, two. I think this paper will absorb um, the ink rather quickly. Does this fit? It does. Good. I think I don't need my stamping tool. Because I didn't use the biggest sort of label on this one. I think I don't need it. That'll be lovely. I am, however, stamping it not so nice over here. Can I sort of remove it? Well, you sort of can. Here as well. Did I do something wrong? Or is it supposed to be like this? Well, let's see. Let's just see. Oh, it's okay. Let's just wipe it while we're here. Do it with this one as well, love. Um, let's see. I have this one, a taller one. Will it fit? <laughs> Just about. Just about. Now, careful, love. I don't know. It just, you know, smudges over there. Maybe it's supposed to smudge, love. I'm going to try it. If it doesn't look nice, then we'll never try that one again. Oh, it's okay. You don't see it. You don't see it. Okay. Well, I'm not angry then. I need to have something underneath. Uh, I'm going to have this underneath. It's going to be on the inside, so you won't see it. You won't even notice it. There you go. Ooh, it looks nice. It Look, it will look like so. See? So that's why I like this. So that's the first stamp layer. I'm going to do more. I picked out some creepy crawlies. I want to have this big bug over here. He looks like Fred. If you uh, have watched some of my videos, you know who Fred is. It's a big bug. And then this one's going to go over here. It's going to overlap a little bit over here. And then this one there. I did this one upside down. If you're going to do something similar, upside down. Because the flap is going to be folded over. That's why I'm doing it like so. Well, let's see, uh, Mr. Tim Holtz, if these are as good as you are saying it is. Probably is. They are really good. They are very detailed. So, yeah, I like them. I know there's also a die cut set of these um of this stamp set. Yeah, I I don't think I will invest in that. 
I, I have scissors, you know. <laughs> Let's have Fred on here. There you go, Fred. This looks like some, some sort of a bee to me. Yes, ooh, they are nice. I must admit, they are nice. Let's have another piece of paper underneath again. You're doing it the wrong way. I know, I know I'm doing it the wrong way. There you go. And another bug. Yeah, we're not done. No, I'm going to do lots more because I have this scripty bit stamp. I want to use this as well. Now for this one, I will need my uh, stamping tool because honestly, I don't have a block that is that this big. I just don't. I don't. Um, I was thinking I want to have it over here on its side, like so. Scooch it in a little bit here. I have no idea what this says, guys. I don't think I will do any translating or figuring out what it is. There you go. You, use, you need to use your fingers. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. I need to let it dry. You need to let it dry, love. I know, I know. And then I want to have it, I don't know, don't know. It's wet, lovey, so be careful where you want. To. I'm gonna flip it uh, like so, guys, so it won't transfer. I'm gonna have it like so. Yeah. I guess so, I guess so. Um, how are you gonna do this? I'm gonna do it like this, like so. There's probably a much better way to do this. <laughs> oh, it needs something underneath. Oh, I'm so bad at it. Stamping tools, blech. I really don't like them. Well, here it goes. Hopefully this fits, right? It doesn't. What you're fumbling, love. I know. I am sorry, guys. Well, it's going to go on like so. And if it doesn't look nice, then it doesn't look nice. There's already a print on here now. Yes, I know. I should have just wiped it. I'm just going to do it again. Yeah, uh, this is gonna fold in, right? I'm gonna do it just like so. I'm gonna be adventurous. <laughs> oh yeah, that works for me. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, look at this. Look, that's why I don't like it. I don't like it, but I do love the end result. The end result is fantastic, isn't it? Yes, you need something here. I know, I need something there. I still need something there. While my hands are still messy, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, it's gonna be the circle as well. So I'm gonna clean up now. Yes, and then I'm gonna do some more decorating. I think it's dry now. My fingers are sort of clean. Uh, before I do all the gluing, I am just going to ink um, the edges. I'm using um, ground espresso for this. Nice and dark. I need to go look for a new color. Um, one of my subscribers advised me brushed corduroy. I'm really looking forward to using that one. 
I must say, I haven't seen it at my um, my local craft shop, so I might have to order it online somewhere. Well, to be honest, if I want Bros Corduroy and I tell Marloes, who is Marloes, the owner of the shop, she will order it for me. She is such a sweetheart. Ooh, am I gonna ink here? Yeah. I'm inking straight through the um, through the little bug. That's okay. That's okay. I need some ink here. And here. I think it's going to look really, really cool, guys. I think I'm going to really, really like it. Okay, this is going to go over here. This here. This is going to flip up. And this is going to flip down. Yeah. Oh, I love this bit. I'm going to have something over here as well. Now, first the gluing down i'm gonna use art for this no you don't even need to use art for this you could but i'm gonna, just gonna use glue stick what i'm gonna do putting two lines of glue one on this outer edge over here careful not to glue on the paper underneath and one on the outer edge over here i'm just using glue stick you can use uh art glitter glue or whatever you want lovies whatever you want Yep, and I'm going to put glue all over here as well, holding this in. Yep, that's it. Oh, it's cute, right? I love it. Love this side even better. <laughs> yeah, I'm not done decorating. I want to um, use some of the labels. This is like a sort of scrap set that I have left from that digital kit that I absolutely adore. I already mentioned the name, right? Yes, it was uh, the Exhibit Specimen Ephemera. You can make slides with these. It's this set. I love it. But I especially love the small sort of labels that it comes with. Let's see what we can use. Cool, right? really like it i just really like it what's this it's sort of the same color i'm gonna have this one here for sure like so then have this one maybe it's like it's a little bit torn so i'm just gonna mimic that with making sort of small snippies here and there See, no, 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 I also want it over here. Just snipping some small pieces out. You cannot notice it now, but watch while I ink it. Then you will. See? I'm gonna fold this over. How will it look on the other side? Well, terrific. Right. Yeah, this is a fantastic kit to invest in because I have used it on so many projects already. Yep, this one goes over here. Where was the other one? Is this one? <laughs> I can't remember now this one because I inked it. No, that's the green one. Do you want color on here? Well, if I do want color on here, it's going to be red. Because I have a red closure. You're gluing on your mat, love. I know. I know. You're, I'm, I'm sticky already. Everything is already sticky and gooey and what have you. What else do I have? I have this one. There's going to be a circle over here. So that may not look nice. I'm going to have this on here. Yep. Now we need a label here. This one. Yep. I 
I might do something with red later on. I think so. I think I want to add some red elements on here as well because of the closure that we're going to make. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, I need something here. But then, in red. Because these were just leftovers from the kit, I know for sure that there are red labels in here. Um, so I'm just using some red labels from another Tracy Fox kit, just to, you know, put something nice on. And I think I want to sort of have this here and fold it over. I think that might look nice. Mm, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it. This here and then flip this up. Yeah, cute, cute. What else is there? There is a little spot here. I think I might want to do this. And then there's a little spot here. Is that upside down? I think so. <laughs> I think it was upside down. I could have also done some um, red stamping. But you know how that turned out last time. So probably... No. <laughs> Does it need any more over here? It's going to have closure and then red. So it doesn't need any more red. There's a little bit of a spot left over here. Will this at all look nice? Of course it does. Of course it does. Especially when you sort of ink it. Sorry, that was my computer. I don't know if you heard it. <laughs> yeah. Cute, right? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now, before I do the closure, um, I want to decorate the other longer, taller envelope. For the other envelope, I'm going to use the same sort of stamp set. I'm going to do it in a, in a different way. I'm hoping not to use my... Uh, I'm going to do it upside down just to see how everything is going to be uh, i just i do not enjoy <laughs> using my stamping block to whatever i have this over here and then um, on there yes no maybe This is going to overlap the other one, right? Yes. Yes, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it like so. Great. Yeah. This one is, of course, a lot smaller. What did we sort of think about? Yeah, here. We thought about doing it here. Yes. And then I'm doing this one here on the bottom. Oh, I enjoy these. Yeah. Uh, first time using this um, stamp set. Uh, I enjoy it. Yeah. A lot. It was going to go here, right? Don't, I cannot even remember. Or are we going to have it like so? Oh, that could be nice. I'm going to have it like so. The other way around, love. The other way around. I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, uh, let's see. Over there. Does this look nice? Oh, yes. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Now, for sort of the scripty bits, I am not going to use my stamp block again. No, I'm just going to try to... I'm going to try something different. I'm just going to stamp it by hand. It's just a little bit of... 
script here and there. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna have something down here as well. It's just gonna be in the background. This was over, uh, overlap that, yes. Here then. Are you doing something in the middle? I am, however. I really want to cover this. Did that work? Yeah, sort of did. It sort of did. Yeah. Um, boxies. We need boxies. Look at my fingers. Look at my fingers. Yuck. <laughs> Oh, guys. So many uh, excellent um, comments on my uh, favorite supplies video about which inks to use and such. And how to do uh, the gluing, the erupting of the gluing. Unfortunately, um, I have no blah blah bell, something I bell icing tube cake. I don't know. People told me you should buy icing spray bottles <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about guys i'm sorry yeah you need some something to put the three in one beacon glue in uh but we don't have those bottles over here so yeah i could use that i could uh, order them on amazon but honestly guys the shipping costs alone will break the bank cute little bug I want to have a big bug here. Oh no, we're going to have him over here. Over there. Big bug. I do like the bugs. There you go. And I think I'm going to use this sort of moth again. No, that's not a moth, honey. That's sort of a bee. Like so? Yeah? What do you think? Yeah? Thinking yes. This is going to overlap a little bit, right? Yeah, but that's okay. It's messy. But lovely. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to clean my hands again. <laughs> and then we're done stamping need to do some decorating before i glued down i inked all around it i went a little bit crazy <laughs> i just want this to be um oh, a tiny bit grungy just have it grungy this is going to overlap that piece right yes so i'm gonna have a strippy glue here and a strippy glue there that was too much glue on that side so I really need to let it dry and then gluing all along here. Fantastic. Let's do some decorating. There's not a lot of space left here to decorate on, but I still want to add some of these labels. I already put them away. Why? Why'd you put them away? I don't know. I have some green labels, but I, oh, do I have some green? Of course you have some green twine. I'm going to um, use some green twine as well, I guess. Along with my green labels. Let's see. Um, shall we do this sort of over here? No, no, that doesn't look nice at all, love. I'm going to have this one like so, or... A little bit off. Taking a long time to decide what label to put on. There you go. I'm actually looking for like something, a taller label. In green, like a skinny, a longer one. 
Do we have anything that is skinny? Well, this says balance, but that doesn't really go well with this theme at all. And let's see. Well, these are the fill-in ones. Love them. Don't use them enough. Hello, nice skinny green ones. I want a skinny green one. There you go. And it says entomology specimen. Perfect. Perfect. This booklet. Uh, this is a um, vintage post-it stamp album. A small one. I don't make them. Got a lot of questions. How do you make them? I don't. I just, you know, I... Find them and I buy them. Uh, and this holds all my Tracy Fox labels. It's fantastic. It really is. But now I really need something green here. And it needs to flip over. That's okay. It can flip over. Did I ink it already? Yep. Tiny bit of green here, lots of green here. Small one here, very small one. Do we have a tiny, tiny one? Well, it's gonna say exchange, why not? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Well, you could exchange your box for some other box, I guess. Something green. Yep. One, two. Where's the other one? Yeah. Let's do the closures. Now for the closures, hopefully you have a circle punch. I'm using the one inch one. And I'm just gonna... These are the scraps that were left. I'm just gonna punch circles. Uh, at least six. Preferably eight. <laughs> because I want to glue them together to make a sturdier circle. Well, two of them because two, four, five, six, seven, oh, and eight. Yes, see, we'll manage, we'll manage. I'm just going to glue four of them together. Normally I would get out some um, heavier paper, but we wanted to recycle, right? Well, recycle then. Oops. <laughs> That's like slippery all over. Putting glue on the other side. There you go. Letting it dry. What I could have done is sort of stamp on uh, on the top one with some text or what have you. Or put a label on. And then um, sort of punched the circles. All great ideas that I didn't think of before I punched all the circles. So I'm keeping them as they are. See now they're a little bit thicker. Um, and also my fingers are really really sticky. <coughs> Inking them. Because I do want them to stand out. Now guys if you don't have hole reinforcers. You can also attach these with a brad. A hole reinforcers. Uh, eyelets. I am sorry. I'm all over the place today. <clears throat> Great, now one of them is going to go over here And one of them is going to go over here Yes <clears throat> I am going to put an eyelet in the bottom If you don't have eyelets You can just punch a hole and put a hole reinforcer in Because these are a couple of layers of paper That will work But I just wanted to <clears throat> The hole, the 
eyelets in here. These have a front and a back. They have a pretty front with all the sort of lines on them. Uh, and I do want the front to be on the front. So I'm going to put them in on the other side. I'm just I, I'm, I'm taking this as my middle. I'm just eyeballing it. This is going to be my middle. There you go. This is absolutely not in the middle. So I am eyeballing the middle. Yes. <clears throat> um, these eyelets are a little bit too big for the holes that I'm punching. So I'm just twisting my pencil in a little bit. That makes the hole a little bit bigger. And see, there it goes. Bob's your uncle. Can I tell you, I do ha actually have an uncle. Well, I had an uncle. That was called Bob. <laughs> Weird, right? Yeah. Well, what are the odds? My dad is one of 11. <laughs> he has, uh, there were three sisters and uh, eight brothers. 11. 11 of them. Yeah. None of them were called Bob, actually. No, <laughs> it was actually a great uncle. It was my grandmother's brother that was called Bob. Bob. This is going to go over here. Now, what I'm going to do is eyeball the middle with a pencil. I think this is the middle. I never get it this right. And there's where I'm punch, punching a hole. Is this the bigger one? Or this is the bigger one? Now, if you don't have eyelets, you just make a hole for your bread. There you go. Uh, bending over to get my pin to get this out. See, it looks like the middle and then you punch it. It's not the middle at all. No. This looks way better. Well, that's that's actually... No, it's not the middle at all. <laughs> I'm eyeballing where it is. Well, this is the, the, the line straight in the middle. So I'm going to put it sort of over here. Will that look nice at all? Yes, it will. I need more ink, though. I need more ink. So, yeah, if you want to know all about my family tree... <laughs> I'm sorry information that's not useful at all yeah well uh, do the questions for the the q a what's your family tree well that'll be a long video there you go uh where did i put the dot well over there very obvious more of these eyelets. I did not make the holes bigger yet. Over here and over here. Yep. There you go. I don't know what brand these um, eyelets are, lovies. Well, they're not memory keepers. They're just, you know, they came in a box from something I don't even remember. There you go. But I have a whole bunch, so I need to start using them. I actually have something to share with you guys. I hope you stick around to the end of the video. I have a, a, a little piece of information I think um, I need to share. There you go. Here they are. About my schedule for the next couple of weeks. That is That needs to change for a little bit, unfortunately. This one's going to be red and this one is going to be green. I have baker's twine, use woolies, uh, whatever you have, lovies, whatever you have. I want it to be double and then flip over. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have it yay long. I'm going to have it yay long. Probably going to cut it anyway. I am doubling it up. That's what I like. You can have one string. I'm doubling it up. And then the loop I'm going to put through 
the eyelet and then have both pieces go through that loop. Way too long, way too long, that's okay. And then you can close it like so. See, way too long, that's okay. I'm just gonna snip it. Don't have this really, really long, love. Okay, I'm gonna have it yay long. Again, probably way too long. And then a green one. Same principle. There's lots of different ways to have a closure on this. I just thought it would look this would look cute. Right, I'm gonna have it the other way around. Again, way too long. There you go. No, I'm gonna throw it out. Oh, I'm recycling, I'm being so sort of conscious, and then I'm throwing this out. Yeah, doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> I think, guys, we're done. Let's look at the end result. Here they are. This was the prototype. I actually love it. Um, I will use this. Put, I know, something nice on. I'm not going to do all the stamping. Um, I, I prefer to do the stamping in advance because then you get the effect that it's going to be all over. I just like it. But if you're just going to put something nice on, you can do the decorating afterwards. So the bigger, taller one. And then this is more the, almost a square one. Lovely, right? I just like him. I just like him. And then the taller one. This is actually small enough to have in your journal. Yeah. It's just it's just cute. Put stuff in it. Like, whatever. It will hold a lot of stuff. So we recycled uh, um, a bag, basically, and did some beautiful decorating. And now there are three more bags. Yes, we made bags from a bag. Guys, that's it for today. Now, um, normally I'd say I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Um, um, I'm going to tell you uh, what is going on at the moment. Um, you may have noticed the last couple of videos that I'm coughing a lot or clearing my throat or what have you. Um, a couple of you probably know that in November I got COVID. And I was really, really sick for uh, two weeks. And actually I just i'm not really recovering it's gonna be okay guys i'm not it's not that serious or whatever but i am not recovering <clears throat> so i went to the doctors she was not happy with me at all um because i'd only rested for two weeks and then i went back to film filming and what have you a lot of talking um uh, because you only see a video that's 15 minutes long but actually i cut a lot of it out so i'm talking all day doing my stuff and that's okay because i love it guys i'm not complaining i love it but she told me to have absolute rest i'm not allowed to do anything just rest um i cannot do that i cannot so we made a compromise and i think it's going to be it's going to be okay what i'm going to do for the next well, however many weeks i'm going to film every other day I am very sorry for you guys who are like, no, I need to have you every day. I'm sorry, it's going to be every other day. But then I'm also going to do um, in weekends and such. So uh, in that case, I get a little bit more rest. And I think the quality of my videos will also be better. Because I have then a whole day to do some preparing and come up with new ideas and answer your questions and what i will do is uh make digitals and such so you will it will be fine it will be fine guys it will be fine i am a little bit sad about it but um you know it's my health i need to take that into consideration and i know you guys will understand so from now on i will have a video every other day Yes, so in this case, uh, uh, I'll see you Wednesday. I'll be back on Wednesday. Hopefully I feel a lot better. And then we'll do another lovely project. Thank you for hanging out with me today, guys. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because it's going to be fun. And from now on, please send in the questions for the Q&A. The Q&A will be um, in about two or three weeks. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be fun. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye, guys.